Arlen. <laughs> Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is continuing on with pulling the blue and white cream, whatever, over into this side of the house. I am in heaven, you guys. I am telling you, I am in heaven doing this decor. I absolutely love it. I am really enjoying it. So without further ado, let me tell you what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, I am going to be, I've already got some things on my hearth and I need to make up a little arrangement to go in one portion on the hearth. I'm also going to do a tiered bow tutorial in this one because I want to put a tiered bow on a lantern with some greenery. I left the same greenery, I'm using the same greenery as I used for the Patriotic, but I pulled back out my uh, white lantern and I'm going to hang this, the greenery on there and make a tiered funky bow, or tiered funky bow. <laughs> I'm gonna make a tiered bow to just tie on to that. And then I will give you a tour of my hearth. And trust me, it is, for me, minimalistic. For others, I'm sure it wouldn't be. Uh, but for me, it's minimalistic because I wanna leave space to put my fall decor in, you know? So I don't want to, when I redo for fall, I don't want to remove this, 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 and then put in that, 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 and that. I would like to add that, that, that to existing, 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 if you get my drift. As much as I can, you know. I would like to not have to remove any more than half of a bin worth of stuff. If that, y'all, if that. But anyway, I'm also going to be creating a centerpiece for the credenza, for the TV credenza. And I've I've taken everything off of there pretty much. Put a, put down a table runner, my daughter's pictures, and a couple of willow tree figurines. And y'all, that is it. That is it. And that's all I'm going to be putting on that credenza for now. But I thought y'all might enjoy watching me put together a little, uh, you know, centerpiece. So let me turn my camera. Let me get started. Chris and I went to Cracker Barrel for lunch today. And they had their blue and white stuff whatever they had left they don't have a lot of it left uh, on sale so i was able to pick up one of these little birds that i used out in my living room now chris directed me he's not here right now but he directed me to an led uh night light i didn't find it one where he told me it was so when he gets home i'm going to replace this all this is you can see is just uh, one of those pinchy things and it's just like a night light so uh, this was originally $24.99 and I got it for $14 today so this is going to go in my centerpiece well here's the centerpiece I'm going to be working on let me set this whoa let me set this aside I've taken it apart pretty much and we'll be putting some things back in it and I'll show you what I have in it but let's start out with this little arrangement here and I'm not gonna do anything wonderful with this. This is going to sit on my hearth. And I just really wanna put some more greenery in it and just add a few flowers. And I got these at Cracker Barrel too. They're just magnets. And they were a dollar three, excuse me, three forty nine. They're heavy, they're like ceramic. Uh, and they were 40% off. So I thought I might stick one of these in here too, but I wanna cut up, cut off a couple. I don't wanna leave this whole thing. I don't need all of that in there. My land won't be able to see. So I just wanna cut off a couple of little tufts of this and add to this one tuft that I have in there already. And I'm literally just gonna add some blueberries and some cream and blue roses and maybe one of those and that we're gonna call that a day. Really interesting. I'm not even going to put any of the Oasis stuff down in here because I really don't want to hide this little glass dish. Although I do want to kind of fill it up a little bit with some greenery like that just to give the flowers something to sit in. The 
there'll be some, something standing up behind it. So I'm just kind of, yep. you know what? I like it going in one direction like that. And this will lay down on the, on the fireplace, but I don't like it sticking out both sides. There's, a, there's gonna be a box on this side of it. So I'm gonna let it go that way, I think. doesn't need I don't want it to be an over-the-top kind of decor I just want it to be subtle and soft is a bit, oh, that really was a lot on that, wasn't it? A bit better. Still is hurting a little, but it's better than it was. Yeah, I just want these, I just want it wispy, you know? These are the ones I got off of Amazon. I'll leave you a link in the description for these glue dots. Papa Dot, it's called. I don't think these are exactly the same as what we had before, but similar. I think I'm gonna put another one just down here. Like that makes sense. Like it would be like that in nature, not but I like it, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> it's like right here. Okay, I think that's it. Unless I get a wild hair as I'm looking at it here to put something else. I think that's it. I think that's pretty, just soft and subtle. I just added some subtle blueberries there. It's pretty. All right. Okie dokie, you guys. I'm back. Now, let me explain this thing. Let me bring this closer to you. I made this for the Patriotic. This is the first time I made this was for the Patriotic. It still has a placemat down in there, which nobody is going to see by the time I'm done. But all I did was take a greenery garland and I wrapped a pipberry garland around the greenery garland. And I'm going to take a little time just to 
fluff up the Pitberry Garland a little bit. So I really do want to be able to see some of this Pitberry Garland in this arrangement. I'm kind of leaving the blue. I'm gonna leave these little birds where they are and I'm going to be adding this little bird. I'm gonna break one of these plates if I don't watch myself. Oh my goodness, sorry. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little bird. Of course the cord will be going out behind her. So I might have to unplug her and we'll wait till we get over there to plug it back in. But I do want her sitting right there. This is where I had the uh, patriotic lady sitting. And I don't think I need her to be up any higher. And we are gonna pretend that these are her little chicks. And I do have some more of these coming to me and I will show you when they do come. But I thought that I may put this right here in this corner. I have one, I have two that I bought from at home. That's the only place that I could find anything like that. My uh, Cracker Barrel was completely out of them, but I will show you those when they come. So anyway, you know, as you can see, I do have this candle holder. These are the same size, but I have one up on a couple of blocks and the other one is sitting in the tray. And then I do have a block in there that the little bird is sitting on too. So, uh, the only other thing that I wanna do with this is I would like to add a couple of these plates in here. And I wanna follow the line of these candle holders. So let me see here, hang on. I'm going to need to set this one up on a couple of blocks here, or on a block. There's a will, y'all. There's a way. And I might glue dot that on there. I move that one piece of block over a little bit and I'm gonna set this little stand. I got these stands from Amazon too, I believe. Just little, they're just little uh, plate stands or picture stands, whatever. Tell you, I don't know what I ever did without glue dots, y'all. I'm telling you, I really don't because they have been a godsend to me. If I was trying to do this without something to hold these in place, I would not be successful. Pretty. Yes. 
some more blue. I have some blueberries. I have another couple of these little burgers too. Put them in. And remember the bird is gonna be plugged in, the big bird. I don't want these at every everywhere you look, but I do want them to cover a bit of the wood here. I think I'm liking this. Yes, yes. I think I like it. Let's see. I need to go get a couple more blueberries. Be right back. I've got one more. Come right about here. Okay. I think that's super pretty. Right like that. And that's going to sit right on the TV credenza. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to love this. So let's push this aside and put my camera up a little bit. And we're going to do a tiered bow tutorial real quick here. Okay, I'm going to be using this ribbon. And as I said, this, this is going to tie on to a piece of greenery like this that is hanging from a lantern out there so and I have navy blue bows as you remember on the mantle and I just want this to tie very subtly into the mantle a little bit so I decided to do just a real quick tiered bow so what we do is we get a pipe cleaner and then I pull out a bunch of ribbon Come back to the end and then hold it in your non-dominant hand. And this, my left hand is my non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I manipulate the loops with my right hand and I hold with my left hand. So hold the end of your ribbon right about to the width of your, your, your palm and make your first loop. Now, you want to picture your first tier of loops to, you know, you want to picture how big that is because know that however big that is, you're going to tier it a little larger for the next tier and a little larger for the next. I'm going to do three, a three loop, what I call a three loop tiered bow, which means I'm going to have three loops on each side of center, my thumb being center. So that is too big in my mind. Those loops are too big. So I want to start them out about that big. This is just a sweet little accent bow. So then I pull the bow up from, from the bolt side or the roll side and try to match the size of the loop that I just made. Pinch it together in the middle. Then you're gonna to wanna to make your center loop. We're gonna do that next. So you wanna twist to bring the right side up. And then all I do is I kind of twist it around my forefinger. See that? I kind of twist it around my forefinger and grab it with my thumb and my forefinger underneath and pinch it together. Okay? 
And that gives us our first two loops in our tiered bow. And actually, I had one that was a little larger than the other. Let me back it up here. There we go. All right. Now, the next thing you can see, it's coming out upside down. So the next thing we want to do is twist to bring the right side up. And we're going to go ahead and make our second loop in the tier. And only make it about a half an inch longer than the, than the loop before it. Grab it underneath. And then it's going to be fed out the way you need it to be fed, although you need to twist it. And again, make another, your next loop, and you don't want it any longer than a half an inch larger than the loop before it. Pinch it together and hold it. Twist, and then you want to make your third loop. I might make it four, actually. I think I might make it four. No longer than a half an inch longer. Twist and make a loop, pulling that free side back to the middle. And then twist, and let's do a fourth loop. We'll make it a four loop tiered bow. No longer than a half an inch. And trust me, you'll get really good at this really quick, just being able to eyeball it like this. Pull it up underneath. And so there we have a four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four loop tiered bow. You can tell already how pretty that's gonna be. So now I wanna make three tails. So I'm gonna twist it to bring the right side up again, and I wanna pull it out about the length of my arm, you know, just from my, my nose to my, it's about a yard, from my nose to the end of my fingers. And then I wanna grab it from underneath, twist it, so that the right side comes up and I wanna pinch that in. So that will give me one, two, and then three, that's still on the roll, three tails. So then you get your pipe cleaner, you feed it through the center loop, go to about halfway, lift that thumb if you can a little bit and grab hold of it, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top Use this hand, just like we do in the funky bow, this hand has resistance, pull against it, get these fingers on your dominant hand up as close as you can to the back of the bow and twist, 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 twist the bow, twist the pipe cleaner. Okay, and there we have a four loop, four on each side of center, tiered bow. Now, Again, the most important part of any bow you make, let's cut this big loop in half, is the fluffing as always. So we wanna fluff, fluff, fluff until you get it fixed the way you want it to look. And I'm actually gonna tie this kind of into, it's gonna puff out, it's, I'm gonna tie it tight and it's gonna puff out kind of. So actually I'm gonna stop the fluffing and I'm gonna do more fluffing when I get it over there on the lantern and make it look perfect over there. But you can see pretty little tiered bow. And then I'm, I just, as a matter of fact, I can do this. I just do uh, a dovetail at the bottom of these. Which is just, I'm doing it the wrong direction here. Don't do as I do. I'm just folding them in half. You wanna fold it in half, I'll do it right. To fold it in half, go to the folded side and point that blade down toward the edge and cut, and that gives you a dove's tail. All right? All right, there we go. So I'm ready to go and put this stuff in place, and then I will come back and get you and uh, I'll show you everything. Let me do some final words here while I'm standing here. Anyway, let me go ahead and do some final words here. Uh, as you all know, I'm kind of nursing an arm 
and that's why I didn't do a full out decorate with me. I figured it would be easier for me just to sit here and I'm gonna have Chris carry the tray back over for me and help me plug in the little bird and get it all set up before I you know, do a little video for you guys over there, kind of an ending video. And I'll talk you through you know, what I did over there, which trust me, as I, again, is not much. But I did wanna kind of allow my arm to continue to heal. As I said, it is better, but it's not perfect yet. <laughs> so I really need to give it some more time. So uh, I didn't do a lot of decorating. You really didn't miss too much, honest to goodness. <laughs> You'll see, it's very, for me, minimalistic for me, big time minimalistic for me. Uh, and again, as I explained, I wanna leave room for my fall decor just to add. So like to this, to this uh, centerpiece, I may leave the centerpiece as is. I may replace the bird with a scarecrow, let's say, or a pumpkin. I remember I, uh, I had one of you guys make me those beautiful pumpkins last year and I believe they have a little blue in them if I remember right, I, they're in a bin. If I remember right, I believe they have a little blue and they're, they are what is gonna go in this arrangement. So I already know, see, I already know that. I can remember my stuff from last year. <laughs> Trust me, my mind is a whirl with this decor. I love it, I love it. So anyway, let me go ahead and say some final words here to you guys. Thank you all so much for stopping back in here. I have not been able to comment back because of my arm. It really hurts, really, that, that causes me more pain when I sit and type a lot. I do my editing, and but that's about all I can manage, y'all. And you can hear me, I get upset when I can't answer or can't respond back. I, I, I never wanna upset anybody. And I know y'all understand. I know that those of you who comment know that I read every word and know that when I don't comment back that I, I physically can't like I'm dealing with now or I'm off doing more decorating or like I said just living my life you know so I've got to have time to recover from everything that I do too anyway but anyway you all know that I love y'all to bits to bits and I you know when I can I do and when I don't I appreciate y'all understanding as far as commenting is concerned isn't that lovely with my towel like all like in a jumble back there do you think I could have folded that and all the unripe tomatoes sitting there on the counter. <laughs> Again, thank you all so much for stopping by. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, don't go away though, because I'll come back and show you the final video, talk you through it, you know, and talk you and show you everything I did. But, and remember in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations and never be afraid to try you guys never be afraid to try don't look at us here on youtube and go oh i could never do that y'all know i'm nobody special none of us are anybody special we're just we may be special because we we decided to try this youtube thing and to, to share our stuff I, I you know with you guys i've i've been a um helpmate to so many in my life and as i said in my q a a couple weeks ago I love to give, I love giving, and I love to give to every one of you guys. Uh, that's why I started my YouTube, to be of a help, to be of a help. If, if anybody likes what I do, and if anybody has gotten anything out of what I've shown, <laughs> I never, I'm not one to say that I could show anybody anything, you guys, you know that. Uh, but anyway, with all that said, I just could talk a blue streak, huh? I'll just say, I'll see you in a little bit behind the camera again, but I'll just stay here while I'm looking at you. Until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. I'm such a dig bat today. <laughs>
Say hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. I'm just kind of hanging out in hot Virginia while Mom decorates around me. <laughs> Daddy's in there fixing me supper, so Mom's taking a quick video so that I will be here when she goes to video the rest of it because he's fixing to get up and eat. Boy, he's excited, isn't he? <laughs> Okie dokie, everybody. Here we go. As you can see, I have not done a ton, but I have done a couple of touches here and there. This is the same little flower arrangement. Lisa Sogardia gave me these beautiful little Ray Dunn planners, and I left those arrangements in there. I think that they turned out pretty, and I like just a touch of red here and there, so I just left it right there in the windowsill. I love that. And then here is what is meant to be, we'll always find a way, this little picture. I just snugged up there in the corner. And then there's that little funky bow I just made, snugged up in the corner with that big pipberry tree. Y'all always ask me about this pipberry tree. Stacy, my cousin, got that for me from her Christmas tree shops in her town and I have never seen one like it again. It, I've had that probably three or four years now. I cannot give you a link for that. I can't give you a link for the for the Christmas tree shop anyway because they don't they no longer offer anything online. So but you can see I just have uh, micro mini lights kind of they're kind of like the twig lights wrapped around the ladder along with that funky bow. I actually, tell you the truth, I took that apart and I made the loops a little bit smaller, you guys. So I made the loops only about five inches and then I cut all the tails down because it was way too big for there. I just wanted a little accent bow. And then as we go across here, you can see I used these little dolls that I just love. Now they are purple. They have purple flowers, but that's okay. It's not bothering me. I used one there. And then I used one, she's sitting on the floor right over there. So, but there's the little arrangement I made. And like I said, as you can see how it's tilted and you can see why I put everything out to the right of it here. Because that box, I've had that box for years and years. I have no idea where I got it, but, and I cannot find these stars either. For those of you who ask me about these stars, they are not available anywhere that I can find. I believe I got them from PiperClassics.com decades, literally, you guys, decades ago. I can't find them anymore. And then I just have a uh, cypress and oak candle burning in there. Chris, do you remember where we got that camera? The, or the camera, the candle, the cypress and oak. I don't remember. We bought it together. Chris and I bought it together. I don't remember where we got it, though. But... It smells really good. I just have it up on like a little stand. And then as we work our way over here, there's my regular crock with the ladder and the pit berries. And I've got more of those like micro mini lights. Again, they're old, you guys. I wouldn't even know where to tell you to go buy those. They're very old though. I found them in my garage. So I'm sorry I'm not able to find you links for these things, but you all, you know, can get the idea. And you can always find white mini lights. They don't have to be like mine. You can just get, you know, little white mini lights from Craft Outlet with a brown cord, you know. Just put Google brown corded lights and you'll be able to find them. There's another little blue candle and gather here with grateful hearts. And as we move on across, that these stars were a group of five, I believe. And the family sign came from and that as well, as did the lantern. All the greenery you see came from Hobby Lobby, as did this ribbon, too. There's our tiered bow. And I got that wreath stand from Walmart after Christmas. And there's the other little doll. Let me back up here and before I take you over to the credenza and show you the whole look of the fireplace. Mantle. 
here's the wreath and then the mantle. And it's getting darker. I'm not sure why it's getting darker. <laughs> Let's try that again. And there we go with the wreath and then the mantle. And as we work our way on back down, sorry, but sorry for the glare there. But down to the hearth. Very simplistic for me, especially, but yet soft and pretty with touches of blue and cream. And then as we go on over here to the credenza, here is that centerpiece. I love how this worked out with those little plates and the bird. We need to get an LED light for in there, but we don't have any more here. So, and our daughters, that's the oldest one, that's the teacher, Kristen. And then this one is our youngest, Candace. Both wonderful girls. Sweet, 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 sweet spirited girls. But anyway, there we go. That's everything from today. So <laughs> I already said my final words. So alrighty, you guys, that's it for today. So I'll just say <laughs> until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.